I told you that was green tea. Stop, is it really green tea? <laughs> you guys are sneaky, see, that's what I'm saying, you never know. What's up, y'all? I'm Kasser Muhammad. Hello! It's Jenna Ortega. We're going rogue. It's Paul Michael Williams here. Oh, that's how you do it! And since our show, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, is all about dinosaurs, we figured, well, maybe we should try some dinosaur-shaped foods. Dinosaur-shaped mystery foods. So let's do it. All right, this one. This one, I have like, this one I'm very excited about. I like my sugar. I like my desserts. And this, is not what I thought it was. I just have no clue. I thought this was a sugar cookie, but this is not a sugar cookie. Look, it jiggles. I think it's a Brachiosaurus that jiggles. I swear, I don't even know how to... <sighs> oh, hmm. Marshmallow? That was not unpleasant. I do think Potentially, I could see Paul being like, what is this? Oh, this is good. It was delicious. <laughs> All right, so we got some gummies here and they're super cute. They're really squishy, by the way. Look how cute he is. I feel like they're like little toys. I could, I'm five years old. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, my guess looks like some sort of gummy snack. Almost like, almost like jello, if you want to call it that. I couldn't tell you what flavor. They're just like a red tint. <laughs> I have to taste this already. Hmm. Okay. I have to admit, not the taste I was expecting. Using purple, you would think grape? It's not grape. If you told me this was like a acai and kale, that's the flavor, acai and kale. I want to say that it really tastes like a smoothie. Yeah, that tastes like straight earth. It does taste earthy. <laughs> Definitely be... Really? This is a beat. Okay. But all in all, I give this a 10 out of 10 because it is really good. My man, man. So for number two here, we have some, oh. <laughs> we have some Brachiosaurus seaweed. Beautiful shape. Wow, I feel bad eating this. Cause I was gonna go right for the head. Paul, do you like this? The salt? to seaweed ratio, if you want to call it that. It is, it's very good. Yeah. We've moved on to number three. It is a pterodactyl. See, I know that one. I just dropped that one. It definitely feels like cheese. I still would have to taste it. We'll do a little sniff test on this one. Yeah, it smells like cheese. Okay, I'm going in on this pterodactyl right here. If you don't eat the pterodactyl at once, it will attack you. I could totally see these in a like a like one of those like stackables things where it's like you have a cracker that's shaped like a like a dinosaur, and then you have these pterodactyls, and then a little maybe a little baloney on top. A Jurassic food plate, pteranodon bites, stackadactyls. That's what I would name them. Stachydactyls. Kids will go wild over it. Then you could have the beet gummies as the side. Ma'am, well, ma'am, ma'am. I'm not into the flavor. Agree to disagree a little bit on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of respect for you guys. It's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what this is. I think it's. I think it's supposed to be a T-Rex. T-Rex pancakes. Or maybe more waffles. Waffles, if it's gonna be a waffle, it's gotta have the little indents. But it's also a little bit green. So that is a little bit concerning, but you know what? I am up for the challenge. Hmm. We're gonna go head first again. I wanna say there's a hint of, um, I don't know what it means to say you can taste the green in it. <laughs> it's matcha. Really? Execution, flawless flavor their color present. If that doesn't sound appealing to you, I don't know what will. You can tell that this is clearly a dinosaur footprint. Dinosaur imprint cookies. Looks like some sort of grain. An oatmeal cookie or something along those lines. Oh, this is harder than I thought. Now, I said this was a cookie, but I don't think it's a cookie now. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I knew why I liked this. 
This is totally like a vegan meat substitute. Making vegetables taste like meat is always a win for me. It's actually really good. Saving cows. World peace. All of these foods definitely had their their own version of great from the beet gummies. Bam, bam, bam. All the way to the vegan dinosaur footprints. Oh, yes, yes. It's solid food. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to watch Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Camp Cretaceous. Camp Cretaceous on Netflix. Thank you.